Y'all get ready? Yes, you get ready. Shout out to all my tea sippers out there. We are gathered here today to sip some tea, honey. So make sure you guys have your tea cups ready because you already know this tea is what? Piping hot. All right, y'all. So everybody and their mama's been asking me what I think about the whole Kenya Moore situation with her husband, Mark Daly, on the Real Housewives of Atlanta. Um, I was able to finally catch it. I DVR it because I'm not able to watch it on Sundays. But I was able to watch it yesterday. And I was just like, what in the world? I was so shocked by his behavior. Like, he was literally just... He was so nonchalant about her. He was ignoring everything. He was talking to her very condescendingly. He was looking at the camera, rolling his eyes and, you know, basically focusing all his attention on the baby, which I understand, you know, as as parents and as mothers, it may be hard, but the truth is the child does come first, you know what I'm saying? So, but it seemed like he was taking that to the extreme. It's one thing because you haven't seen your baby, you miss her, you want to be around her, but you can still have a conversation with your wife. You can still reply to your wife's questions. You can still treat her like an adult and talk to her like a human being. I was not feeling their whole dialogue. That was just really cringy and it was hard to watch. I want you guys to go ahead and watch this snippet really quick and I'm going to come back with the rest of my commentary. Okay, hopefully I have eggs. Okay, we have to have butter. Oh my God, do I not have eggs? Okay, Uh, let's see, I can do pancakes. I feel so silly. I thought for sure I had eggs. Okay, well, I'm a, I know how to pivot. That's okay. Call his dorm refrigerator. No, it's not. He doesn't care that I'm running a, a million dollar company. He does not care that I have a daughter that's running around that needs love and attention. He does not care that I need to keep all of this together and I need to go to the gym. All he knows is that he's hungry and he wants some eggs. So where are the eggs? I know everybody's asking you to bring Soko here, your restaurant. Yeah, they've been asking Because they ask me every time I look around. I got to figure that out. I got to scout the area and find an area that, that works. So what do you think? You think you might? <sighs> hmm? What's the matter with you? What are you talking about? Todd probably can um, yeah, yeah. show you around, yeah. maybe. I love when you look at me like that. Show me again. Look at that smile. Show me that smile. You know what I like about having you here? I love that... You know, you can relax and be with your family. And have uh, breakfast with no eggs? You know, listen, more than anything, we have love, so. Right? Right, baby? Yeah. And cutie pie. And we yeah, have cutie, cutie pie. pie. If Mark had a restaurant in Atlanta, I think it would solve half our problems. Will he be home every night? Yes. I think it's a matter of who's gonna get daddy first. Look how pretty those pancakes are. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And you doubted who? Mm-hmm. We are Grubhub champions, just so you know. That's not true. <laughs> you getting the treatment today? Yes. You gonna put her you in here? <laughs> hmm? Yeah. Right, let's get in there, Chief. Yeah. Here you go, baby. Okay. Okay. All right, we, gotta do, we, gotta, we gotta hold hands? Thank you, Father God, for allowing us to have this meal with our family, for always protecting us. We ask you, Jehovah, for you to repair any broken hearts in our family. Keep us on a path of being together, being kind and loving to each other. In the name of your son, Jesus Christ. (laughs) I know how to make fluffy pancakes. I know your birthday is coming up. So what do we need to do to get a nanny? Maybe it's for couple days. Brooklyn's not coming with us? On my birthday, Brooklyn rolls with me. You go with me on my birthday, baby. So you you want to take her on your birthday trip? Yeah. Of course. Of course she does. This is that's actually so the first we... birthday since you... It's my first birthday with you. It's true. You know, I miss being a girlfriend. Now that Brooklyn is here, I'm very much a mother. And I'm a good wife but I don't know if the girlfriend is there. And I know that's important to a relationship. Mm-hmm. But if we want to go to dinner and just have some alone time, then how do we do that if she comes? I mean, you and I alone? <laughs> <laughs> yes. Without you? <laughs> nah. Honey. 
All right, so you guys just saw that clip, and that clip, like I said, it was just really cringy. Everything from just the whole awkward conversation about the eggs and him saying, you know, you got a dorm room refrigerator. I mean, as if there's nothing in there but government cheese and, and damn powdered milk. Like, what the fuck are you talking about, dude? Okay, fine, she ran out of eggs. Go grab some. You know, it was just like he was just being so rude to her. And it's just like, you know, everything from even the prayer. And then when she was asking him questions about his birthday, you know, well, let's do a romantic getaway. And it's like, uh, no, the baby has to come too. And then when she was speaking to her cousin, talking about how the baby sleeps in between them in bed. And it's like, okay, well, how do you guys have any romantic time to yourselves if the baby's in the bed with you guys? I just feel like we're growing farther away instead of closer together now. So um, it's been a little, it's been hard. I want my daughter to have all the love in the world from her dad, but I want some too. You know, so in my personal opinion, watching that scene, and I'm, I know that they're divorced now, but honestly, just from the way he was acting in that scene, every time she talked to him, it's like he made every effort to just ignore her and play her to the left. And it's like, for me personally watching that, I can tell he's just not into her. He's not into her in the same way she's into him. And I think that's the sad part because I'm sure before he got with her, he understood that Kenya's the type of woman that she's really yearning for love because she didn't have that from her mother. She's trying to rebuild it with her father, but her mother literally just abandoned her and, you know, left her to her grandmother. So it's like she's looking for that love and she wants that family structure for her daughter because she didn't have that growing up. So for him to just treat her so cold, it was just really sad to watch that. I'm like, she's a good one because I probably would have just walked out the kitchen because he just was like just so rude to her and was just simply ignoring her. You know, my personal opinion where they messed up was having this long distance relationship. You know, you can't be a married couple and you guys only see each other every 10 days because that leaves room for other people to come and get involved. I understand he's a busy man. He's running his restaurant in New York, but I think either she should have moved to New York to go be with him or he should have moved to Atlanta. But the separation is definitely causing a rift in their marriage. He's already distant towards her when they're in the same room so imagine how distant he is when he's in new york and she's in atlanta you know like i said that allows other people to get into your ear that allows you know other women to come into this situation so that was just really uncomfortable to watch i wasn't feeling it at all and i also think another part of the problem is the fact that their relationship is on television from day one, this dude has not been comfortable with the Real Housewife of Atlanta cameras there. He's always been more private. And that's the thing. A lot of times, like, we always talk about the reality TV show Curse. When you put your relationship out there, I don't care if you're boyfriend, girlfriend, gay or straight, you know, married. When you put your relationship out there for the public, it brings a certain energy. It brings people, you know, wishing you break up and, you know, I'll take your man, I'll take your girl. It just brings so much drama. You can just tell he's not fond of the cameras, the way he kept making faces. He seemed definitely annoyed at Kenya, but more even so annoyed at the entire situation, the fact that everything's being filmed for television. I just don't think he's ever going to be comfortable in front of the cameras. Some people feel like he's just using her to promote his restaurant, but it seems like his restaurant was popping before he ever met Kenya, so I don't think that's the case but I definitely feel like those cameras are causing him to resent his entire situation with Kenya the marriage you know the fact that she's on reality television those cameras are causing him a lot of anxiety and angst but you can just tell that he's just not a reality tv show type person at all but yeah I mean as far as the whole Mark Daly and Kenya thing I definitely understand now why they're going through a divorce he's just not into you sis I think she possibly just needs to either go to counseling maybe counseling might help them if not she just needs to let it go and try again and try and find somebody who's not only going to care about her but care about her daughter as well because to me I don't see no type of connection there I don't see any type of spark they both seem irritated with each other and he just seemed like he did not care about Kenya whatsoever it was about him and the baby and that was it so anyways y'all let's go ahead and get the discussion popping let me know what you guys think about this entire situation concerning Mark Daly do you agree with me that there's really no spark there and he just seems like he's not into her whatsoever and um, how do you guys feel about this season so far? Are you here for all this messiness and shade? Or do you feel like it's the same old, same old? So let's go ahead and get the discussion popping. Go ahead and leave a comment. Let me know your thoughts. So don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Make sure you hit that thumbs up button. And, and last but not least, don't forget to hit the bell so you can be down with the notification squad. So go ahead and leave a comment. Let's go ahead and get the discussion popping. All right. Deuces. Deuces. <laughs>